Okay, if you're taking any sort of algebra course, you're absolutely going to need to understand what I'm going to be talking about, and that is obviously the slope-intercept form or formula for a line and the point-slope form or formula for a line. So this right here is the slope-intercept form, and this one right here is the point-slope form, and we're going to uh, compare and contrast these. It's extremely important, as I said, if you're taking algebra, that you need to understand both of these, okay? Often times students say, oh yeah, I know how to use this. I don't really need to know this. No, you need to know both and both formulas can help solve the same type of problems. But I'm gonna give you some uh, feedback uh, in terms of what I think is kind of like the one that I would prefer to use in most problems, but you need to know how to use both. So if you've been confused about this, I'm gonna clear up that confusion here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, if you're struggling in math or struggling in algebra, don't give up the ship. You can pass. Matter of fact, you can do more than pass. You can get an A in mathematics, but you got to believe in yourself. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is you need great math instruction, clear, understandable, comprehensive. That's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will make a huge difference in your ability to understand mathematics. Also, if you're preparing for some sort of test, something that has a math section like the ASVAB, SAT, ACT, GED, maybe a teacher certification exam, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you, uh, that can help you out. If you homeschool, uh, check out my award-winning homeschool programs for middle and high school mathematics. Very proud of this. Been working with homeschoolers for years. Hopefully you have a pair uh, of great math notes, okay? If you're not taking great math notes, you need to start doing that immediately. But you can use my notes. I'm going to leave links to those in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as this helps me out big time. Okay, so let's get into the slope-intercept form and the point-slope form of a line. Of course, these are the two formulas. But um, let's go ahead and first uh, kind of set this up. What is this, you know, what are we talking about here? What are these formulas uh, have to do with? Well, this one right here, y equals mx plus b, the big topic really is something called linear equations. Okay, this is a big topic in algebra and it refers to kind of a lot of things. So linear equations could refer to, here's a linear equation, 2x minus 1 equals 5. Solve this linear equation. This is a one variable linear equation. But Typically, when you move beyond solving equations, and I'm kind of talking about pre-algebra, algebra, algebra one courses, algebra one courses, you start getting into, hey, graph the line y equals 2x plus 3. Okay, you want to learn how to graph, but what are we graphing? Well, we're still uh, talking about linear equations, but we're graphing two variable linear equations. This word uh, linear kind of refers to line, line equation. So this right here is the most common form um, to express an equation of a line, okay, i.e. something we can graph on the x, y plane. So here's x and here's y. I'm kind of being a little bit sloppy here. Uh, but if we wanted to graph a line, that would be a linear equation, and that would be a two-variable linear equation. And typically, okay, more often than not, it's going to be expressed in y equals mx plus b form. Something like this we could graph uh, on our nice little xy plane. So this is kind of the big picture that what we're talking about. So you need to know how to graph a linear equation. So if you're given something like in y equals mx plus b form, you need to know how to graph it. But the other part of studying linear equations is... Hey, I'm going to give you a clue about a line. So like, hey, I know a line has a slope of one half and passes to the point three, seven. Can you tell me the equation of the line? Let's find the equation of the line. In other words, given this information, give me the y equals mx plus b linear equation that matches this information. Okay, so given some hint, uh, hints about a particular line, find the equation to that line. So that's the kind of like the uh, the two primary things you need to understand when we're talking about the slope-intercept form and a point-slope form, okay? And typically, it's doing this flavor of problems, finding the equation of line when you're going to be using this formula, okay? So a point-slope formula is going to be super handy when we're answering this type of equation or this type of question. 
And then this uh, right here, y equals mx plus b, is super handy when we are asked to kind of like graph a line or express uh, uh, a linear equation. We want to express this generally in y equals mx plus b form. Now, there's other things here. I'm trying to teach you like, you know, two, three chapters of an algebra course. Um, you know, and it's impossible for me to do this, but I'm trying to give you the big points because there's other things like standard form, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, again, I just want to set these up because we are talking about the point slope uh, form or formula and the slope intercept formula or form of a line. Okay. And it falls into the broader topic of linear equations. It's important that you understand the big picture because if you don't, this is how, you know, you're going to not, you know, end up comprehending all this material because you know in algebra you're going to get thrown a lot a lot of information so if you're not keeping up where it all fits in it will become confusing okay so i wanted to set the stage there for the uh, slope intercept form and a point slope form of a line now another thing you need to know is this if i'm trying to find the equation to a line you need two pieces of information at a minimum okay you need the slope of the line the m Okay, hopefully uh, you have a good understanding of what the slope is. If you do not, you definitely want to uh, check out my additional videos on my YouTube channel on slope. I have a ton of them. Or better yet, just check out my uh, math help program, my algebra course, pre-algebra, algebra 2 course, any of those. I teach this big time. Okay, so you need to have the slope. Okay, and you need to have at least one point that's on the line. Okay, at least one XY point that's on the line. Now, Hey, let's suppose you, you were asked to find the equation of a line, and it, uh, the question goes like this. Find the equation of a line that passes through the point 1, 3, and negative 4, 5. You're like, whoa, okay, I have two points. I don't have the slope. I just have two points. Could I find the equation to, uh, to this line? Yes, you can, because given these two points, you can find the slope, okay? So you can find the slope, but we need at least one point, and you can, for this particular problem, you could use this point or this point. doesn't make a difference, okay? So I'm kind of quickly going over a lot here because uh, when we're talking about the slope-intercept form and the point-slope form of a line, you need to understand the context of why we're learning this, okay? And that's what I'm kind of doing right now. Okay, so now let's get into the slope-intercept form and point-slope form, and I'm going to keep my focus primarily to finding the equation of a line, okay? So... Hopefully you understand how to graph a line. If you do not, again, check out my videos on my YouTube channel or go to my algebra course. All right, so find the equation of a line. Let's take a look at this first problem. So we want to find the equation of a line. Now, this here is just a little abbreviation. When I'm saying find the equation of a line, typically we're looking for the y equals mx plus b form of the line, the slope-intercept form of the line, okay? So to answer this question, we're going to take, these are two separate questions. To answer these questions, you can use both formulas, okay? So to find the equation of line, you can do all your problems using this formula, okay, the slope-intercept formula. And let's just go ahead and define something. Why do we call this the slope-intercept formula? Well, the M is the slope, Y equals M. M is the slope, and the B here is the Y-intercept, okay? This is the Y-intercept. Uh, we just call it, that's a B, it's not a, a, a 6, it looks kind of like a 6, but that's the y-intercept of a line. So here, here's the x-axis, and here is the y-axis. If we have a line that's chopping, uh, like going like this, this point here that's crossing the y-axis, that's the y-intercept, okay? All right, so... Again, I really want to break this down thoroughly for you. So if any of you have been confused about this, you will not be confused by the time I'm done with this little video. All right, so this is a slope-intercept form of the line. Again, slope and y-intercept, or we just refer to it as the intercept. Now, again, you can find the answer to the uh, finding the equation to a line. You can use this formula all day long, okay? Now, for some problems, you want to use this formula, and I'm going to get to this in a second. But I'm going to tell you right now, the preferred formula to answer finding the equation of lines, I want you to think of um, using the point-slope formula. So I'm going to do a problem 
uh, using uh, the slope intercept form. We're actually going to talk about these problems here in a second, but we'll, I'm going to go over how we do, um, how we answer these questions using both formulas. Okay, but you have to be kind of smart about this. So let's take a look at this first question. Let's find the equation of line with a slope of two and a y-intercept of five. So given these two formulas, okay, now I haven't even showed you how to use these formulas, which uh, formula would, would, you, would we choose, okay? Well, the obvious answer would be this one, okay? Because to get the right answer for this uh, formula, all I need is the uh, slope and the y-intercept. Here I have the slope and I have the y-intercept. So what's the equation of a line that has a slope of two and a y-intercept of five? Well, you just go right over here. It's like as easy as this. Y equals, well, the slope here is gonna be two. Then I have x plus my y-intercept, that's my b, is 5, okay? So right here is the equation y equals 2x plus 5 is the um, linear equation or the equation of a line that has a slope of 2, okay, and a y-intercept of 5. It's like 1, 2, 3, okay? Now, I could do, I could have answered this question by using this formula, but that wouldn't be smart, okay? So you need to know both formulas, and that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm trying to compare and contrast these formulas for you. All right, so um, anytime you're asked to find the equation of a line where you're given the slope and the y-intercept, always use the slope-intercept form. It's just the, the most direct way to answer the question. Okay, now let's take a look at this problem here. Uh, we have a slope of 2, and we have uh, the point 0.35. Okay, in other words, we have a line. We want to find the equation of a line that has a slope of 2 and passes through the point 0.35. To kind of visualize this, uh, visualize this, let me see if I can kind of graph this. Here's the x-axis. Here's the y-axis. So the point 0.35 might be like right here. Uh, let's say this is 0.35. And our line has a slope of 2. So it might be something like this. Okay, so here is our line. It has a slope of 2. Okay, and it passes to the point 3, 5. We want to find the equation, the linear equation. And the linear equation will always be expressed in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so our final answer, typically we want to express it in this form, but that doesn't mean we always use, like we're going to use this formula. We're just going to write our final answer in this form. Okay, so, so these type of questions, when you're not given the y-intercept, I would strongly uh, suggest you use the point slope formula, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at uh, doing this problem both ways, okay? We're gonna use both forms, okay? Uh, so here, y equals mx plus b is the what? That's the slope intercept uh, form of a line, okay, or formula. So let's go ahead and answer this question. So here, it, uh, the question is, find the equation of the line of a slope of, uh, the, of a line that has a slope of two, okay? So to use this formula right here, I need to have the slope M, I have that right here, um, and I need the B, the y-intercept. I do not have that. What I have is one point. Remember, to find the equation of a line, you need two pieces of information. You need the uh, slope, and you need at least one point on that line. So I have a point that's three, five. So this point, this x, this is an x-y order pair, okay? So this is x and this is y. So my x is gonna be three and my y is gonna be five. So when it comes to this form, I have this, but I don't have this. And what you need to um, uh, get an, a, a um, line in slope-intercept form is the slope and the y-intercept. So I have the slope, but I don't have my b or y-intercept, so I need to solve for it, okay? So let's go ahead and show you how how we do that right now. So we have y equals mx plus b. So y is what? We're gonna use this y right here, which is five. Okay, we're gonna plug that five in. m is two, that's my slope. x is what? Well, that'd be my three, okay? And then I don't have my b. So I have all my information, everything except for my b. So now I can solve for b. So five is gonna be equal to two times three is six plus b. And then when I solve for b, b is equal to negative one is simply subtract six from both sides of the equation. Be careful with your positive and negative numbers. So I have b is equal to negative one. That's all I need, okay? I have my m, my m is equal to two. So my y equals mx plus b, 
Okay, M was already two, so I'm gonna plug that two right there. And B, I just solved for that's negative one. And there you go. This is the answer, y equals two x plus negative one. And by the way, if you uh, knew this already, you're like, yes, I could do this problem. Well, let me go ahead and give you a nice little happy face for being an excellent algebra student. So this is one approach, and this is not a bad approach, okay? Uh, but what I'm telling you is that you need to know how to um, answer the same question using the point slope formula. So that's what I'm um, going to show you right now. And for those problems, again, that give you the slope and a point that's other than the y-intercept, I would strongly suggest you use the point-slope formula. So here is the point-slope formula. Let's go ahead and just uh, quickly take a look at what we need to plug in. Okay, so we have y minus y1. This is a value we need to plug in. It's a y1, okay, or just a y-coordinate. Here is our slope. We need to plug that in, and then we need to plug in right here for x. So this y1 and x1, Remember, we're talking about a coordinate. We're going to do the same problem here, okay? We're just using uh, the point-slope formula. The, when you're given a, a point, like, hey, the uh, line passes through the point 3, 5, always remember, these are a, a, what we call an ordered pair. The first number is x, the second number is y, okay? It's a pair of numbers, and there's a specific order, x and then y, okay? So in this case right here, y1, our, that's just our y. That's our 5. This x1 is our three right there, okay? Then of course, M, we're given to as two. So now we just go ahead and just plug things in uh, directly. So Y1, okay, is our Y value, which of course is five, so you can see I'm plugging it in. M, I'm given the slope of M, that's two. So I put parentheses, X minus um, X1 is what? My X value right here for my point, so that's three. Okay, so at this time, I just need to do this algebra so first things first, 2 times x minus 3, what you want to do is a distributive property, so that would be 2 times x, that's 2x, and then 2 times this negative 3 is negative 6. So we have y minus 5 is equal to 2x minus 6. We want to solve for y, I'm going to add 5 to both sides of the equation, and here is what I get. Okay, I get y equals 2x minus 1, that is the same as y equals 2x plus a negative 1, because remember right here, uh, you might be saying, no, those are different. No, no, you can just say y equals 2x. You can turn this into a plus negative, okay? So y equals 2x uh, minus 1 or 2x plus negative 1. These are equivalent, okay? But I'm telling you from experience, all right, most students, when they get super good with that point-slope formula, it's generally, uh, it's my recommendation that you use this uh, as like your plan A, okay? When you're answering these type of questions, find the equation of the line. I will uh, always kind of recommend that students go with the point slope formula. They just typically tend to do um, better with it in terms of getting your uh, answer. But let's take a look at our final answer here. Y equals 2x plus negative 1. Look at what uh, form our answer is. Even though we use the point slope form, our answer is in Y equals MX plus B form or slope intercept form. Okay. So hopefully... You know, I did my job in this video and I gave you all the things you need to be thinking about when you're learning the slope intercept and point slope formula. Okay, it's a big topic because we're talking about linear equations, graphing lines, finding the equation of the lines, and there's different techniques that you need to know. So just don't get stuck on one. You're like, oh, I'm super good with this and I'll just forget about that. Or I'm really, really good at this and I don't need to know that. No, you need to know both. Okay, but you need to use um, both of these formulas to your advantage. And uh, that's hopefully what I uh, kind of told you or not told you what I taught you to do. Okay, and if that is the case, if it helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you need help with any of this stuff, I'm talking about algebra, linear equations, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel, uh, but I would strongly suggest you checking out like my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 course or even Pre-Algebra if that's your level. I do uh, teach these concepts in my Pre-Algebra course as well. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.